A massive blood-red cloud suddenly blooms in the dead of space, stretching for thousands of miles. At its heart is a mysterious object, three Atlas, an interstellar visitor that just got a whole lot weirder. This is the first time something like that is observed, where there is a glow ahead of the object toward the sun. Scientists aim their telescopes expecting to see the familiar tail of a comet. Instead, they were met with this, an eerie crimson ghost that vents gas at an incredible rate, but without any of the telltale signs of a normal comet. This new image doesn't just add a new puzzle piece. It flips the entire puzzle board over. We're going to break down what they found and why it's so terrifying. The Red Anomaly. Scientists recently got a fresh look at the interstellar object, designated 3 Atlas, and the image they captured is the stuff of cosmic nightmares. Forget what you think a comet looks like. There's no gentle glowing tail, no brilliant white head. Instead, this new portrait shows a monstrous blood-red coma, a vast cloud of gas and dust shrouding a nucleus that we can barely even see. This isn't just a slight color variation. We're talking about a deep, unsettling crimson that astronomers have rarely, if ever, seen on this scale. The coma is immense, stretching out over 90,000 kilometers from end to end. To put that in perspective, you could fit more than 10 planet Earths inside this ghostly red halo. But you see, it's not just the color that's causing scientists to lose sleep. The thing nobody tells you is what this cloud is made of. Spectrographic analysis, which is like a chemical fingerprint for light, delivered a result that was a complete shocker. The cloud is composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide, not the typical mix of water, ice, dust and other frozen gases you'd expect from a comet, but a nearly pure CO2 emission. It's venting this gas at a truly staggering rate, 70 kilos or about 54 tons every single second, that's like an industrial factory smokestack, pumping out invisible gas in the vacuum of space. An object venting that much material should be one of the brightest things in the sky. It should have a magnificent tail pushed back by the solar wind, stretching for millions of miles. But Three Atlas has no visible tail, none. It's like seeing a massive fire with no smoke. This fact alone breaks all the conventional models of cometary physics. Comet sublimate meaning their ice turns directly into gas when heated by the sun. And it's this process that creates both the coma and the tail. Three Atlas is performing the first part of the act with incredible gusto, but seems to be completely ignoring the grand finale. The gas is just appearing and then lingering in this horrifying red cloud. It's a cosmic magic trick without a magician, and it's happening on a scale that is hard to comprehend. Many people are crazy about what this means for other objects lurking out there. To make things even stranger, the core of this object, the nucleus, is a complete enigma. For a long time, based on its faintness, astronomers assumed it was relatively small, maybe a few miles across. But not all things are what they seem. New data crunched from observations by NASA's SphereX telescope has suggested something far more massive. The latest estimates put the nucleus at a potential 46 kilometer, or about 28 miles. This isn't a space rock. It's a small world. An object that large, composed of what they assume must be frozen CO2 and other volatiles, should be lighting up like a Christmas tree as it gets closer to our sun. Yet it remains stubbornly faint, shrouded in its own bizarre, bloody fog. It's too big, too red and too weird to be a simple comet. So scientists are left with an image that makes no sense, and a list of contradictions that grows longer with every observation. They have a picture of something that is simultaneously hyperactive and mysteriously inert. It's rewriting the rules in real time, forcing a complete re-evaluation of what an interstellar visitor can be. The biggest mystery of all might be how it holds itself together while shedding so much mass. But that question is just the tip of the iceberg, not the comet we were promised. Before this object became a cosmic headache, it was a source of incredible excitement. When three Atlas first appeared in our telescopes, it carried with it the promise of a once-in-a-generation celestial event. You see, this wanderer was detected while it was still incredibly far out beyond the orbit of Saturn. Yet even at that immense distance it was already starting to brighten. Astronomers crunched the numbers, plotted its trajectory, and the calculations were thrilling. Its path was taking it on a close swing around the Sun, and based on its rapid brightening, forecasts predicted it could become visible to the naked eye perhaps even rivaling the brightest stars in the night sky. The hype machine went into overdrive. It was dubbed the potential comet of the century. People all over the world were getting ready for a spectacular show. 
But the universe, it seems, had other plans. As Three Atlas continued its journey inward, it started to behave erratically. The predictable steady brightening that astronomers had banked on began to stutter. It would flare up unexpectedly, then dim just as quickly. The color and shape of its coma seemed to shift. It was like watching a performer who couldn't decide on their act. The thing nobody tells you is that this kind of inconsistency is a red flag for comet specialists. It suggests structural instability, a sign that the object might not be able to handle the increasing heat and gravitational forces of the inner solar system. Then the betrayal came. Instead of blossoming into a magnificent spectacle, three atlas simply fell apart, or so we thought. Observations showed the single point of light, fracturing into several smaller pieces. The great comet of the century had disintegrated before it even got to the main event. For the general public, the story was over. The show was cancelled, but for a handful of dedicated researchers, the real mystery was just beginning, because even as it broke apart, the object refused to follow the script. The fragments didn't dissipate as expected. Instead, they continued to travel together in a tight, ghostly procession, each piece now sprouting its own miniature bizarre coma. This is where the timeline gets a little fuzzy, and frankly a bit suspicious. The initial images of the breakup and the strange behavior were studied, but the full shocking details, including the data about the massive carbon dioxide cloud, weren't immediately released to the wider public. There was a delay. Now in the world of science, data is often reviewed and verified before publication, which is standard procedure. But the delay for Three Atlas felt different, raising questions among a small but very vocal minority of researchers. What did the initial data show that required such a long period of analysis? Was there something in those early readings that was so unbelievable it was initially dismissed as an error? This period of silence only deepened the enigma. When the new data was finally published alongside the now infamous red coma image, it recontextualized everything. This wasn't just a comet that broke up. This was a profoundly strange object that underwent some kind of bizarre transformation, and we only got the full story much later. The promise of a beautiful, predictable celestial event was replaced by a messy, inexplicable, and far more interesting cosmic puzzle. It was never a normal comet. It was something else entirely masquerading as one, and it used its dramatic journey through our solar system to finally reveal its true and utterly baffling nature. Its strange composition was only the beginning of the puzzle. The next clue would be found in its past, in the cold dark it came from. Where did it come from? To understand the mystery of Three Atlas, we have to talk about where it came from. And the answer is, we don't really know. What we do know is that it didn't come from around here. Its trajectory is what astronomers call hyperbolic, which is a fancy way of saying it's not gravitationally bound to our sun. Our solar system's comets, like Halley's Comet, travel in huge elliptical orbits, but they always come back. Three Atlas is a one-way ticket. It fell into our solar system, from the vast emptiness of interstellar space, the gulf between the stars. And after its brief chaotic visit, it will be flung back out into that darkness, never to return. This makes it an incredibly rare and valuable specimen. It's a messenger from another star system, carrying clues about the chemical makeup and conditions of a place we may never get to see. This is only the third such interstellar object ever definitively identified. The first was Oumuamua, a bizarre cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our system in 2017, accelerating in ways we still can't fully explain. The second was Borisov, which looked and behaved much more like a conventional comet. And then there's Three Atlas, which is like neither of its predecessors. It's in a category all its own. You see, the thing about being an interstellar visitor is that you've been traveling for an unimaginably long time. Millions, perhaps even hundreds of millions of years, adrift in the deep freeze of space, far from the warmth of any star. During this long journey, the most volatile ices, like frozen nitrogen or carbon monoxide, should have evaporated away, even in the faint starlight. What should be left is a core made of more stable materials like water ice and rock. But Three Atlas turns this logic on its head. Its massive carbon dioxide outgassing suggests it is a cold comet, a relic from a very, very cold place. The problem is it's almost too perfect a relic